In this series of rubber dam, we are going to describe some intricacies and three methods of application of rubber dam. After having used rubber dam regularly for almost three decades, I would like to share with you that employing rubber dam in the routine use of dental praxis adds to your satisfaction, sophistication and prestige to the science of dental practice. This is apart from other benefits like being hygienic, free from uh, slivery contamination, second providing carefree working that is without apprehension of losing grip of small instruments and its accidental ingestion. Three, spreading of uh, cellular fillings particles into the mouth while removing the old cellular fillings. This gets collected outside the mouth otherwise it is very difficult to clean. Fourth, reducing total clinical time in a procedure as the patient does not get up to spit again and again. And lastly, reducing of aerosol infection, bacterial as well as viral in this COVID period. In our previous four series on our channel, Polish Dentistry with Dr. H. S. Chavla, we have practically demonstrated that application of rubber dam is easy and learnable. Now we will take up the different three methods of application of rubber dam. Method 1 Slipping the rubber dam only onto the horizontal bar. Here while applying rubber dam the tooth to be treated and other teeth as well are visible and one does not has to look or make a special effort to locate the tooth on which the rubber dam has to be applied. This is the rubber dam sheet. It is cut out of the examination glove. Now we mark the right side and left side. So this part has to be towards the nose. Now we divide the whole rubber dam into four quadrants like this and we put a dot in the center. Then we draw the lower jaw. Mind you this is a narrow circle not a broad one that we do it normally. Then we mark the tooth. For example in this case we have to expose 3 6. So we mark a dot. After this is the punching with the rubber dam punch. So you reach at the spot that you have marked and you press. Now take the, the punched portion out. This is how. Now this is without any tear. If there is a tear which sometimes comes when you are repeatedly using the rubber punch and it is not working. So you, you have to do it again or change the, the rubber dam punch. For this 3-6 uh, we have chosen clamp number 7. Now this clamp is put underneath the rubber dam like I am going to put look and go towards the hole. Now you keep the hole in the center of the horizontal bar and hold it firmly with your right hand as I am doing and slip it on the horizontal bar. Then you invert and you can see the rubber dam clamp and the two holes. In these two holes we put the prongs of the rubber dam clamp and expand a little it is ready to be taken into the patient's mouth. Now just see how I am going to do it. Here I am going to go and the, all the teeth are visible. You know look all the teeth. The patient has not been anesthetized. So I have to see that I am not pinching on the gum. And then slowly I leave it. I have placed the clamp on the uh, three 
6 like this and please hold it now I take it light now I just slip it around the clamp similarly on the buckle side now the rubber dam frame is put parallel to the upper lip the rub the rubber dam sheet coinciding with the upper portion of the hooks is bilaterally stretched and placed similarly here for the lower bilaterally stretched and placed and here please open the whole thing is exposed and we can work two fixing rubber dam onto the horizontal bar as well as on the two small extensions which are placed on the interior part of the rubber dam clamp here one has to look for the tooth on which the rubber dam has to be applied because the other teeth are not visible to the eye this is a rubber dam clamp number seven which we have chosen and i am going to show you an alternate method of application of rubber dam below the rubber dam and bring the horizontal bar out so that is slip the rubber dam on the horizontal part of the rubber dam clamp now you stretch this and place it like this on the ears of the rubber dam clamp similarly the other method right now this as I have explained you is the alternate method of application of rubber dam now we will put the rubber dam forceps into the eyes and take it into the patient open please now you can see the tooth as such and you slip it and leave it so it is done the application of uh, rubber dam frame the rubber dam frame is parallel to the upper lip and the rubber dam falling falling on the top portion of the rubber dam frame is stretched bilaterally and hooked now similarly it's hooked on this side now second is to slip this rubber dam on the flanges you hold it like this and slip it like this similarly on the on the other side uh, on this side I am using a probe to lift it up and go and slip it like this for the second method we have to do a little modification to aid in slipping of the rubber dam over the flanges this is just to rub this and make a ditch on both sides here and here now I'll show you how to do it now that ditch that I have told you helps us to slip the plastic instrument below it otherwise it doesn't get slipped so you just do it like this and then in the mouth you can do it which I have shown you the third method first placing the rubber dam onto the tooth and then stretching and holding it to completely expose 
the palatal or lingual as well as the labial surfaces and then applying the rubber dam clamp on the tooth. This method is more appropriate and useful for applying rubber dam on the anterior teeth and can be used even till premolars. Rubber dam sheet cut out of the examination glove. We write the right side of the patient and left side of the patient. And in case there is no indication that this, this is this thicker part up, we can put an arrow here so that we know that this goes up. Now we mark the upper jaw. After taking the center marking this point around it we mark then we mark the tooth that is to be exposed on which the rubber dam has to be applied in this case it is two three as the uh, assistant is holding the rubber dam you reach the point and push and make a punch so this is the punch that we have made. Since the labiolingual dimension of the tooth is large, so we are going to use a premolar clamp instead of interior. Now in the eyes of the rubber dam clamp, we put the two prongs and tighten it a little and it is ready to be placed onto the tooth. Mind you, the distal end of the horizontal bar always towards the distal side. The horizontal bar should always point towards the distal side. The hole onto the tooth that is three, look for it and stretch it both sides. The, the labial as well as the palatal side and the clamp we have already prepared before that we see that the both the sides that is the the labial as well as the palatal sides are exposed as I have done it just now and take it the labial side is not that exposed, she, the assistant has not been able to stretch, anyway this will work. Now we straighten it up, now we place the rubber dam frame, the major point is it should be parallel to the upper lip and the rubber dam that is coinciding with this is held similarly on the right side is bilaterally stretched and put. Similarly now the lower part of the rubber dam is fixed. This is folded to expose the nose and it is all done. Just a minute. Now if it is covering the nose what we do is we loosen it and again place it parallel to the upper lip and now you will find that it will be okay now without covering the nose. It is very important that the nose should not be covered. At least when you are applying for the first time on the patient.